The Berlin International Film Festival wrapped up this weekend, but not without some controversy. Chinese filmmaker Zhang Yimou, you may know him from films such as Hero, and he also produced the opening and closing ceremonies at the 2008 Beijing Olympics. Well, he withdrew his film one second from the event. And according to reports, it had to do with Chinese censors. The film is set during China's brutal cultural revolution period. Back in 2017, Beijing passed new laws regulating its film industry, stating that movies must, quote, serve the people and socialism. It also said that any film submitted to an overseas film festival would require official approval. Chinese artist Ai Weiwei also says he's been targeted by Beijing's film censors. It relates to the Cities of Love film anthology. He was invited to direct one of the episodes in the new Berlin I Love You. But he found out that his contribution was cut. This is part of his statement. Quote, it was infuriating to find our involvement had been erased. The reason we were given for the episode's removal was that my political status had made it difficult for the production team to secure further funding. Ai Weiwei spoke to DW about these allegations and in an exclusive also told us about why the film was not considered for the Berlin Film Festival. He hardly needs an introduction. Ai Weiwei is one of China's most well-known contemporary artists. I want to start uh, straight away by asking you about censorship in China for creatives. Has the situation gotten worse? It sounds like you've got recent news. Uh, I think the situation getting worse. And, uh, but uh, the policy is always the same. The purpose is to censor every um, art or literature or film and to make sure that it would not uh, um, go different from party's line. And in terms of your own situation, uh, Berlin, I Love You is a film that you have been involved with. It sounds like you've hit some problems there. Tell me more. Yes, I re recently I learned that this film Berlin I Love You and has uh, visual my uh, episode. Uh, I'm the first one director involved and I've been invited to do this film. I directed the film uh, when I was in China, uh, still under soft detention. I did it uh, through Facebook actually, uh, FaceTime, not Facebook. But uh, my son also uh, played a role in the film. So that film has been uh, using as a uh, promoting for the film Berlin, I Love You. But uh, recently I found out um, my name is not on the list. So I, I asked the, the producer and director, they gave me the answers quite sur surprising. They told me they submitted this film to Berlin Film Festival. Then the festival told them if I were always in there, uh, the film cannot never be accepted. Also, they told me because they are involved to make a, um, Shanghai I Love You, and the uh, producer in there also think to put my episode in their film would uh, damage their possibilities. Can we talk a little bit about China's impact on artists? Because this is happening in Berlin, right? It's not happening domestically in China anymore. I think it's a very important point. China have be, has become much more powerful and globally plays a, a major uh, role in politics and uh, economics. But at the same time, China started pr promoting its uh, so-called soft uh, power. That means China has been um, very effectively um, uh, use their own ideology to 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 apply in U, uh, West universities, uh, scientific la laboratories, and uh, now in you can clearly see in the um, entertainment and. Uh, and in this kind of um, industry. So what happens in the top industries uh, of uh, festivals, I think they all under Chinese influence and the censorship uh, is uh, there. And uh, I think the West collapse with Chinese censorship in that sense. Okay, last question, which is, um, what is the way forward in terms of your role that was cut, your film that was cut in Berlin, I Love You, and then on a grander scale, what is the way forward for Chinese creatives who want to be free, who want to freely express themselves? I think it sent a very strong message, and but a very 
uh, very dark one because young people would never uh, even imagine they can pass this kind of hard censorship. If you are a filmmaker, it's very hard for you to get uh, permission to film in China any film. If someone like Zhang Yimou can face in this kind of problem, if someone like me can be um, facing this kind of dramatic situation. So think about the young artist. And uh, so China would not just lost their ability for free uh, freedom of expression, but they will lose whole generation's imagination, courage, and uh, their passion for art. Wei Wei, it's very good to see you after all these years. Thank you. So nice.